and now it's turning back on. That is so strange. So, whoa, that was close. Welcome back to Tesla Driver, everybody, and welcome to an early morning start here in Swansea. So we're going to be doing a 5 a.m. It is currently 5 a.m. start uh, at a drive through Swansea city center and to see how well autopilot does work out. Now, I do appreciate it is quite hard to see at the moment. It will get a little bit easier when obviously we get somewhere with street lights and stuff, uh, but it is really dark at the moment. So obviously we just did the, uh, the Model X in Newcastle. Uh, when I did that in like a early morning, I think that was like a 3 or 4 a.m. drive. So this is a little bit later on, but I thought it'd be quite good to uh, compare the two right away. What I have noticed though is autopilot is automatically uh, going plus four over. So we just need to turn that off. Okay, I'm going to start looking out, seeing what's what then. Because it looks a little bit interesting. We had some interesting like bus lanes and different bus things there. Which I'm not sure what that was about. But if the roads are like this all the way into Swansea, then that's great. Now, if you didn't know, actually, let me show you the map real quick. It's I've pretty much come off the M4, so the Swan, so Swansea, the Swansea, <laughs> Swansea's down here, and you just like come off the M4, and we're gonna go down all the way to the ocean, and then we're gonna come across this road here because there's a supercharger that I want to get to somewhere down here, uh, and basically, yeah, that that is the plan, and it looks really nice and quiet. It is Saturday, so no one's gonna be up just yet. If anything, people are still going to be up and they're going to bed. But this looks quite nice. I have got a tyre pressure warning for some reason. This has been here from the start uh, today. And it's for this front left one, which is the one that got damaged. So I think it might have a slow puncture. Uh, but as you can see there, it is saying it needs sorting. It's not slowing down for this roundabout at all. So I'm going to have to bring it down myself. Even though actually there's nowhere someone could get on it. So that's fine. Uh, again, we could have let Autopilot do that. But I didn't realise until it was too late. Oh, it turned straight on and straight off. It was trying to turn so hard there that it actually took it off of autopilot straight away. But yeah, so I'm, I don't know why I'm getting that warning. Uh, I, I assume it's a slow puncture, so I've got to have a look at that. But basically, some people will get annoyed that you've got this warning here on the autopilot display. If you just swipe it, it actually it goes to the side, which is a lot better. So we're coming out to our first set of lights. Is it gonna pick the right-hand lane? It has picked the right-hand lane here. And do I want the right-hand lane? That is the question. I don't think I do, actually. No, nope, I wanna go left. This one's being an absolute prime example. Oh, there we go, okay. This one, yeah, it was literally being a perfect example of how long all of the uh, lights were taking. Okay, so this looks, uh, I haven't actually been down this bit of Swansea before, so this looks like it's more of the center. Uh, we are going right here. I feel that we're going kind of like, not the back end in, but like a different route in, which is a little bit strange. Okay, autopilot back on. I'm gonna keep it down actually to 20 here, just cause again, there's no one around me. Um, I just need to make sure I shoot, there we go. Uh, there's no one around me, so we've got plenty of time and it would be quite interesting to see it kind of go slowly and kind of safely through here. You can see actually we're nearly at the destination. Whenever I get to the, we've got red lights. Is it gonna stop? Let's see. No, definitely not. Oh, God, those brakes are good. And now I have no idea. I think I'm going this way, aren't I? Yeah, we're going this way. So we're going kind of this way forward and then left, I guess. Oh, no, it didn't want to do it. Still not wanting to do it. No, okay. It's, it's not wanting for some reason. It's uh, not wanting. Did it want me to go down there? No, it didn't, did it? It want me to go up here. Okay, so let's get more onto a main road, shall we, here. So we're going to go... Let's go left here. No, let's go straight, actually. Let's go straight. That looks good. That, that looks like there's lots of uh, roadworks and stuff ahead. What a great challenge. Okay, here we go. Now, again, no idea which lane goes where in the end. So we just kind of gonna go for it but as you can see actually autopilot's not wanting to turn on at all um which is very strange yeah look at that it's actually not turning on at all it's not giving me any option for anything down here not even traffic aware cruise control that's very that's really really strange why is autopilot not working at all down here like it's definitely lines 
It's not picking anything up. Okay, so there's no one on the road, so I'm just gonna stop, okay? I'm gonna pull up here, and I'm gonna put the car in park, because this is a, a little bit strange. It says battery low, but I'm assuming battery low doesn't have anything to do with autopilot. Okay, I've turned, so we're turned back on again. And yeah, look at that, it's not turning on. So I wonder if it's been stopped or they've like turned it off maybe for city centers. I don't know, I'm, I don't, mm, maybe not, but potentially I honestly have not a clue as to where I'm going here. So this is all very, very confusing for me. Yeah, look at this, for some reason, autopilot, aha, there we go, now it's turning back on. That is so strange, so, whoa, that was close. Wow, that was close. That's really strange though, so it actually wouldn't work at all. There you go, it's working again now. Uh, well, at least it will do in a minute. Um, this is, the roads, the roads are so confusing. I never, I never driven around Swansea, I wasn't, uh, old enough when I used to live here to drive around Swansea, so the roads are hella confusing. Um, but we, we are following. For some reason, there's no like lines. It's just like these really big, different colored pavements. I'm not sure, it looks a little bit strange. But we were definitely blocked there from actually using autopilot in the city center. So I think there might be a new system that is uh, blocking autopilot working in city centers. Or maybe it's just my car that they've decided to block. That would make sense. Uh, but yeah, okay, here again, <laughs> he can go, but I can't go. So now we've got to we've we've got to wait. But the taxi man doesn't. Am I allowed in the taxi lane? I have no idea. I can't quite get autopilot to work down any of these kind of roads here. Um, you can see, yeah, it's it's not wanting to pick up. I mean, the lines aren't great in all fairness. Uh, but no, it's not wanting to pick up anything down here. Pick up any of these lines? No. I thought it'd be quite interesting to take it to, like down the back, a back route to see if it would kind of turn on. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, again, we're looking for autopilot. It did just come up there. It did just come up for a split second. There we go. Okay, we're back on it now. Let's just see then. Is it going to work this time? Yeah, it looks like it is. We're going straight across and, oh, it's going on the wrong side of the road. Wow, it's going on the wrong side of the road. And then we've got, um, I don't know what that is on the road. It, it honestly looked like a furball, <laughs> like a massive furball. That was, I, I don't know what that was. Okay, it's working again. We're going 18 through the, through the center here, which I think is the, the right speed to do. It's a good speed. How's it gonna do here? It feels like it was following um, that kind of thicker middle line that you can see. But no, it's doing it okay. And now I, I don't really know what which direction you can go here. So I'm just gonna go left. I set the sat nav now to go to the supercharger uh, and we're gonna try and follow its way there. But I'm just, I wanna get autopilot to work more in the, in the center. Uh, there we go. But it, it was struggling to work in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna bring that back down. So we're going back down that cobblestone road. Ugh. And yeah, it's not sure where it wants to go. Sadly, that road's closed, so I'm gonna have to go this way. It was actually trying to bring us this way, but it was kind of doing it a weird route. And I don't think it was following it perfectly. Again, it's not wanting to work. It's just not wanting to come on, which is so, so strange. I've never had it like straight out refuse before in a city center. No lines on the road here, but the cars, yeah, it seems pretty nice and stable. And I'm hoping it's gonna come and sit behind this car here. Yep, and there we go. Right, now this is a left turn. Oh my God, what's the car gonna do? I kind of want to leave the car to its own to do it. Wow, that was close. Oh my God. It was so close to doing it. I actually thought it was going to do it and then last second it stopped. And I don't know if the wheel turned, but it felt like it was just aiming to go down the walkway. Like, you know what? <laughs> I, could, I could fit down here. Like, I could totally do this. Well, it's braking for him. 
So we broke really, braked, sorry everybody in the comment section. We braked really hard, no we didn't actually. We braked because that was set to go 18 miles an hour. Uh, but it felt like it was stopping because of him for some reason. See, this is annoying as well. So the auto high beam just turned off and then on, on and then off even. <clears throat> I do wish they uh, sorted out the high beam a little bit better because it, it's just a little bit questionable sometimes. Again, I don't feel that it can always see other cars and it's working perfectly. Now, is this a 30? I can't see the signs. Yeah, this is a 30, okay. This is quite slow. And I think this is what I mean about these roads are a lot more important in my opinion, in terms of this is where I want it to work because I'm gonna be doing more of the driving on these kind of roads. Whereas in the city center, yeah, it'd be great, but how often do you actually drive around a city center? Like I never drive around a city center, so I don't think you really need it doing that. Whereas this is a lot more important and on these kind of roads, yeah, it is, uh, it is flawless at the moment. It's doing this really nicely. We've got two more tests coming up. So there's a roundabout and then there's a uh, on-ramp to get onto the M4. So because there's nobody about, especially on my side of the road, it's absolutely dead. Uh, we're gonna attempt that little roundabout if it allows us. And then we're gonna try and do the on-ramp on Navigate on Autopilot to see if it can come off the Swansea uh, like main roads and then obviously onto the M4. Okay, let's speed this up to 50 here. You can see though, it's still not on Navigate on Autopilot. So, you know, if I wanted to indicate it's not changing lanes. So, you know, a little bit annoying still, but hey ho, hopefully it will think of this as a controlled road eventually. Now, this is a big roundabout, so I would hope the car would be like planning to slow down about now, but it's not, it's not, no, it's not slowing down. So I'm gonna pull it down myself and I'm gonna bring it all the way down here. Uh, you can see that it is trafficked, but there is nobody on the roundabout just yet. It's working its way around it nicely. Uh, yeah, it's still going around it, no problem. Just gonna speed it up a little bit actually. I set it too slow. And look at that. Considering it's not meant to do roundabouts, that ain't half bad. That is not half bad at all. Oh, a little bit close to that reservation, but it's, yeah, it was fine. You see, like there, it felt too close for my opinion, but I kind of let it do it. And I'm glad it did, because it worked afterwards, so that's good. Now, funnily enough, on here, it's not on Navigate on Autopilot. I was kind of expecting it to do Navigate on Autopilot here. But no, it doesn't It doesn't want to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it off real quick and put it back on. No, okay, this is still not Navigate on Autopilot. Again, that's a little bit annoying, but okay. And I think we're coming off somewhere here. Yeah, so we're taking this junction off here, which sadly the car's not actually gonna do on its own. I would want it to do that. Yeah, it's not going to. So instead, now we're up here, can we turn it on? Okay, we can. There we go. Again, there's no one behind us, there's no one around us. Uh, I'm just gonna do this at, what's it say? Oh, it, it says the max speed's 50 up ahead. So we're gonna set it at 45 and see what happens at 45. Now this is a, a full like, uh, you know, kind of semicircle back around on ourselves. It's slowing down itself. Navigate on autopilot has turned on, so it should know this road. Yeah, it's doing it. Really nicely actually, all the way around, no problem. It's going a little bit slower. Like it, it does, it, it breaks and then kind of, feels like it's gonna stop for a second and then it carries on again and now there we go and now we're going on to the motorway there you have it everybody that is our Swansea City tour let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section how well did the car do and how do you like it us doing these like nighttime drives like once a month or something uh, I think it did pretty well but again in the city center it's not quite ready yet everywhere else though 
pretty good, not too bad at all. And pretty impressed actually with the Navigate on Autopilot and uh, the roundabout at the end as well. That was quite impressive. Until next time, thank you all for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.